yo, 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 it's your boy with a new video today because we got these in. Control arms, all new control arms, wheel bearings. Um, I think there's a few other things in there. I'm not 100% sure. I need to open it up. So we're putting those on today because as you can tell, this wheel has a lot of camber compared to that one back there. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but you can definitely tell out here. And this wheel has got camber as well. Um, it's like every time you brake, it's like, like that. You know, every time you brake. So we're gonna fix that up so I'm not gonna be scared to get over 90 anymore. So we're gonna get started on this side. The tire don't look terrible. We got both new control arms, new wheel bearings, and that there. I don't know what that is. All right, so first I'm gonna work on getting the wheel bearing off. This is the first time I've done this, so it's a learning process for both of us. Kind of watched a little bit of a video, so I kind of have the idea. Uh, and everybody needs to get you one of these, a magnetic, so you can hold all your bolts. Sorry if I got some crack, crack kills. I really need something to sit on. I'll be right back. <clears throat> I know what I can sit on. Now for this part, you're gonna wanna get some zip ties. Cause you do not want this brake caliper dangling by just the brake line. Cause you will mess it up. Lay it on the front side because you do not want to mess this up. It might be good to do four zip ties. These brake calipers are very heavy. Do not want that thing dropping. You rip a line, you are screwed, my friend. They're not really screwed, it'll just be very annoying. Would have probably been a smart idea to go wash off my car before I did this. For the fender wheels at least. Alright, so I know this thing's got four bolts. Get this wheel bearing out. <clears throat> when getting these bolts, you can turn the wheel back and forth. Gives you a little bit of a better angle. Okay, so it looks like it's an 18. Because it's not a 17. My dumbass is going to sit here and fiddle faddle with it for 20 minutes. There we go. Grab big girl over here. Use this whenever you can so you don't have to throw out your back. Backbreaker 6000. So, we finally got it. You gotta take out the main control arm there and get enough room to get this last top bolt right here to get these, but it's just one, two, three, four. This one over here, you can't stick um, a regular, what is it called, socket in there. You can break it loose with a the socket, then you gotta take it out with this because you don't have enough room to get the socket back out. It hits your coil over. Unless you wanna take over your coil over, take off your coil over, that's up to you. There she is. She's out. I mean, this one wasn't bad, but it came with the kit, so I figured do it while I'm doing it. I'll get the new one. Yes, sir! <clears throat> Alright guys, so I got them all out. This one, as you can see, I had to cut out. Um, this is why it's good to do it when they recommend it, because if you don't, then all the stuff will rust out. Alright guys, so both of the bolts for the control arms connected to the hub are just old and rusted. So, I'm having to cut them out. We out here deep. What you got to say, Brandon? I'm about to be on your ass, boy. We know that's a lie. We out here deep. Got the two BM, three BMWs. That's slow shit. Yes, sir. Just it up. Shut the 
fuck up. What you got to say? <laughs> oh shit, I'm on camera. You what up, boy? Hey. Hey. Oh, 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 J King Flogs. There it is. We're going out today. What do you think of the Parkway experience so far? Give us your input. Uh, it's fun. It's fun, you know. Okay. What do you think, sir? It's cold as fuck up here. Okay. Okay. What you got to say, sir? What, what, what's this about? The Parkway experience. Oh, it's cold. It's foggy. We we getting it though. You know us. Nothing in my view, so it's hush on discussion. Love is love.